Okay, so her feet aren't that much longer, but she does have some flaring, and I'll show you how to trim this so that you can start getting, you know, a, a better, she's not pulling out and stuff like that. Okay. I'm not using the right words, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, so we got the foot marked, and uh, you know, it's not that uh, her toes are that long, but she does have some flaring, and and mostly you do, you've had pasture trims done on this. It's a flat trim. They don't bevel the edges. Ain't that right? Like uh, when they do a trim, they just rasp it flat. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you know what I mean by bevel? Um, like, are you talking about the outside? Yeah. Edge? Yeah, uh -huh. put a strong bevel on that outside edge, and that's what will help her Go straighter. straighter down and more attached to the hoof wall and get rid of those flares. Okay. And to get rid of that crack in the toe, uh -huh. too. Okay, so first thing you want to do is pick up that foot, put it on the stand, and take off those heels. Cut, not cut almost down to the line, cut about there. We'll rasp the rest of it down, okay? Okay. Mm. Let's see, put her foot in the, in the stand more. Okay. Okay, pull it out a little bit. Okay, put your foot on the stand, there you go. Okay, so I just... Yep, just cut right into there. There you go. So you want me to go further down the... Yeah, go ahead. Did I get enough of the heel or...? Um, you got, you got, you're doing okay. And then... Now, you, do you know about taking half, half, uh, nips? Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that about right? Yeah, why don't you just go ahead and cut that off and we'll see where we're at here. Okay. Yeah, you, you did fine. Another way you can do it is like this. Okay, here, hold the camera on it. Okay. All right, you just come up here. Get your get your thing just a little bit above there. Come into here. Mm-hmm. And just cut it down like that. And then Oh yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, you wanna try the other one? Sure. You're good. You got. You're off. This is a tall girl with a really short horse. <laughs> okay. Come back here. <laughs> I didn't get low enough. Yeah, to. You, yeah. Go ahead and cut down some more. Some that dirt out. There you go. She's been pretty good. Yeah, I think she likes the snake. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Come here. Oh my God. Uh, need to go a little lower still, right? Huh? Because that line's down there. So. Yeah, well, you don't have to go totally, totally to it because we'll 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 level it off with the rasp. Okay. Okay, but what I, I want people to see now is how, see, she's taking off these heels more down to that line. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to deal with the sides here, and I'll have you video me while I do okay. that part. And then you can do uh, the other hoofs. Okay, um, 
I was just telling Candace about how the back of the foot needs to be developed in these horses. And what happens is when uh, people, when the, the heels are left too, too long, then the back of the foot, right in here, you've got what's called lateral cartilage. But uh, uh, if you ever notice, cartilage is something that's real tough. It doesn't have a lot of nerves and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, if a horse is left barefoot and trimmed right so that this back of the hoof is utilized, this cartilage in here gets really tough and strong and makes them, uh, that's what makes a good barefooted horse. Ah. Okay, and what you'll see in horses a lot of times is when they've been shod all their life and stuff, see how nice and wide she is here? Mm -hmm. They'll be all crunched up and narrow. Yeah, she's been barefoot most of yeah, her life. Yeah, yeah, she ain't got bad feet at all. But, um, you know, the jammed hairlines make her tender mm -hmm. and too high a heel make her tender too. Mm -hmm. I'll put her foot down for a minute and let her rest. Let me get my gloves on. Okay. Well, uh, where's the, the uh, I need to measure something else here. Something. Now, I'm gonna measure to find where the end of the coffin bone is, a bounce thereby. We're gonna measure an inch and three fourths from this mark here. Okay, now you can see where the bars come in there and where we made our mark here, that is the center of the foot. And proper foot size should be the same, about the same length from here to here and from here to the toe. Okay. okay? Okay, so we're going to measure an inch and three-fourths from here, from this spot here. And that's about right there, an inch and, let's see, one, two, about right there is the tip of the coffin bone. Okay, okay. now we're going to want to take all the leverage off this toe so that you can start getting rid of this crack, mm -hmm. okay? and. Uh, so we're going to draw a line straight across here. Hi. And see these marks I'm making here? This is what you call the pillars of the foot right here. Okay. Um, when they measured the wild horses and stuff like that and uh, took ink and put their foot on a you know, <laughs> piece of paper, they found that most of the time they were standing on what they call the four pillars, which is right here. Okay, there was no weight bearing of the wall from here to here, okay, or from here to here. In the quarters, right here, there was only weight bearing here, 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 and here. Uh -oh. So we kind of kind of try and mimic that a little bit. Okay. Okay. We're going to let her rest here for a second. <laughs> okay, now i got to decide what to do. Okay, the, the, um... Wait a second here. <laughs> okay, come here, girly. Okay, the first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to take out the quarters here. Okay, from about here to here. And now, you see, I'm not doing straight. I'm doing it kind of an angle. Okay. I'm just going to take out right to here. take this toe off like this. Okay, you see how I've got it angled? Now, see I made my little marks here? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to cut into that. So you only go from those marks forward? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm going to do something else there. I'm just doing that this time because I watched uh, 
uh, what's his name do it the other day. <laughs> Usually I kind of take that off too, but I'm trying something different. I'm trying to leave a little more at the pillars than I usually do. Okay. Yeah, that was really thick all in there. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just cut it down. But she's ready to <laughs> shoot back up. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm just going to kind of take it down there. Now, do you think she'll be a little sore like the first, you know, until she gets used to she it? She might. Because you should be able to feel her foot. But one thing that's going to happen in here, see how we're taking all the leverage off the hoof wall? Yeah. At the ground level? Give her more break over? Yeah, exactly. Probably help her if she trips sometimes, you know? Oh, so yeah. probably help that out. Yeah. Now, see, you're going to want to maintain this. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to maintain this at the toe, especially from here to here and at the quarters, and maintain the teals low, too. Okay. Okay, if you just maintain that, this mare will have awesome feet. Ooh. Now, well, we're going to look at something here. Oops. Look, it's Aaron, and instead of the hoof wall growing straight down and out, it's kind of flaring and growing out. Mm -hmm. Well, then it's hard to know what to cut off. <laughs> you know, you're afraid to cut off anything up here, you know, but you have to. You, am I making sense? Yes, I ask that a lot, by the way. I ask these kids. <laughs> they're always like, do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, <laughs> as I lecture them, you know, <laughs> about stuff. Okay. Now, I I only trimmed this not quite as much right this time because of what I that Gene Ovenick hoof map and thing I watched last night I thought I'd try it to leave a little bit more now we're gonna take but we are gonna take off the edges he says he says in his that he finds out where the pillars are and then he leaves that just a little bit longer uh -huh. to protect this area of the toe okay um, I don't know, you know. Don't know. I want you to look at something already here, though. Ah, give me that. Now, does she look like she needs more heel now? Doesn't she look like she has more heel yeah, now? Yeah, now it looks about right. <laughs> huh? Yeah. So see what I mean? It's not that the heels are short, it's the toes long. Yeah. See, again, that's mechanical engineering like that. yeah. is what we're thinking about, you know. How is this thing built and how is it supposed to, to work and stuff? Okay, give it here. Okay. Now I'm going to level up the heels. Okay, so I hold that there and I'm just going to. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, I was always afraid to like even touch her heels before. Oh, yeah, they were I saying, know. You know. Oh, let them grow out. I know it. And see, <laughs> that's a tradition. You know, I remember farriers. When I was growing up saying, oh, you got to stand them up. Well, the only reason they had to stand them up because they didn't recognize a flared toe yeah. and how to bring the toe back. Yeah, I was, I was told that like um, with quarter horses, you always, you know, leave more heel, cut off the toe, and then thoroughbred, you cut off the heel and leave more toe. Yeah, they're crippling horses yeah. all over the nation by this phony baloney stuff they're doing. Yeah. All horses got the same food. Yeah. You know? And see, that that uh, one tradition comes from the show horse people that, that like to stand straight up and have, look, make them look like they have teeny tiny feet. Yeah. And with the, the, are you still recording? Yeah. Good. Okay, <laughs> and no, no, I don't get on camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the other tradition comes from racehorse people who think, that if you leave them with a long toe, they have a longer stride. I mean, it's utter tradition and utter stupidity. Yeah. Okay? Now, her foot's just looking just right. Yeah, if you think, if you think about it, as soon as they break over, they can take another stride. Right! You know? Yeah. Well, they don't want to think about it. Yeah. They just want to follow tradition, you know? <laughs> yeah. And see, it's like the story of this gal uh, and her mom there at Thanksgiving dinner and and her mom's cooking a ham and she cuts off the end of the ham and puts it in the pan. And uh, the daughter says, Mom, why do you do that? And she goes, well, I don't know. My mom always did it, okay? And so uh, well, so they say, well, let's go ask Grandma. So they go in the next room and say, Grandma, why do you always cut the ham off the end of the pan when you put it in there? Grandma says, because I never had a big enough pan. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See, that's how tradition is carried on stupidly. Yeah. Know? 